Hello there! Welcome back to PTC MathCAD's short clip series. This one's about the maximize solving function, which returns values that satisfy the required conditions in a solve block and make the function take on its greatest value. We're going to solve an optimization problem and need some things. Firstly, we're going to need a solve block that can be found on the math tab. Then, we're going to need a couple of operators, such as greater than or the equal to operator. And lastly, we're going to need to use some functions, more specifically a solving function located in this solving panel on the functions tab, which will be for today, maximize. The given problem is to maximize the volume of a box with a total surface area of 100 squared inches. As a restriction, we have that the length of the top and bottom of the box should be twice the width. For engineers, this means that the box could be a container used for storage or transportation of its content, and there would be more constraints such as weight or material strength. But in this example, we'll just keep it short to understand the thought process and work out our problem in MathCAD. We have a picture of it and formulas for volume and area, as well as the value for area and the requirement from the statement. We use the Boolean equal sign to define constraints that will fall under the proper section in our solve block. So let's go ahead and insert it. We add in some guess values for length, it could be four inches, for width, let's say 1.8 inches, and another random value for height to be two inches. We can directly move our constraints in the solve block and we can also safely assume that we won't have any negative values. So we're going to also mention this in the solve block in the constraint section. And in the solver part, we are going to use the maximize function. We insert it from the designated panel and here we are going to specify volume, length, width, and height. And when we press equal, we'll have a vector of our dimensions and we can even change the unit from feet to inches in order to see the values accordingly. Now we put our cursor to the left and insert a 3 by 1 vector and assign the solution to a vector of length, width, and height. So if we now want to see the values individually, we can call them by their given name and again modify the unit. Thanks for watching and see you soon!